Hi, I'm Jeffrey Holbrook, and I'm the Associate Principal Trumpet here in the Seoul Philharmonic. Today, I'd like to give you an introduction into how to approach taking auditions on the trumpet. Navigating orchestra auditions can be intimidating, or even a little bit scary at first, but it's a skill that's necessary to begin and advance your career as an orchestral player. I want to help walk you through the process on how to approach your preparation so you not only give yourself the best chance at success, but also have some insight into what the audition panel is hoping to hear from your side of the curtain. The first thing to know is that auditions require a different type of focus and practice from the work needed to perform in an ensemble. In a perfect world, each candidate would have the opportunity to come and play multiple concerts with the orchestra, so the current members of the orchestra could really hear how they would work with the ensemble. But the reality is that most people won't have that sort of opportunity. So in your solo audition, you must display all the skills needed to give the panel the confidence that you are the right fit to join their orchestra. So, what attributes are they looking for in your playing? The first step is to look at the audition repertoire list that everyone is required to prepare. When you look at the list of orchestral excerpts, each and every one of them is there for a specific purpose. They want to make sure you can cover all the skills necessary for the job you're hoping to fill. In most auditions, the first thing you'll play in your audition is either a small section of a solo work or an orchestral excerpt that helps the audition panel judge your fundamental skills. For the trumpet, I consider these skills to be your sound quality, your intonation, your rhythm, and your ability to be able to keep a steady tempo. That means the music they'll ask for is typically not too technically difficult, but the truth of the matter is that most players auditioning will have trouble getting past even this first step. Let me play for you an example of one of the most likely excerpts you'll see at the beginning of an orchestra audition, the offstage call from Beethoven's third Leonor Overture. On the surface, this offstage call does not seem all that difficult. But an audition panel can derive so much information about how you play from this short piece of music. To execute the entire fanfare with good intonation while maintaining an even and full sound is much more difficult than it seems. Even from just the first note, If you do not play that note with a bold, colorful sound and maintain steady intonation, it's a detail that will not go unnoticed from the panel. Another common excerpt they could ask for early in the audition process is this passage from Debussy's Nocturnes. In this excerpt from the movement entitled Fets, a common mistake is to not be strict enough with the rhythm as marked on the page. And although there is many more difficult excerpts you'll likely need to prepare for an audition, the panel typically wants to make sure you can walk before they ask you to run. If you don't pay attention to the details of these excerpts, they may not even give you the opportunity to showcase your preparation on the more difficult pieces. And that's the dilemma. We naturally want to spend the largest portion of our preparation time in the practice room on the difficult and technical music. That logistically makes sense, but the truth of the matter is that most of your practice time needs to be spent mastering the fundamental skills and the excerpts that can highlight your firm grasp of these basics.
after you've shown the panel that you have a good handle on the fundamentals of your instrument and that you should be seriously considered for the position, that's where the fun begins. This is when they're going to make sure you can do all the difficult skills on the trumpet that will be necessary for you to do the job. This includes control of the upper register, mastering the lower register, executing both loud and soft passages, excerpts with difficult articulations, and last, being able to play technically difficult music. Excerpts that highlight one or several of these skills will be the bulk of the music on the audition list that you encounter. The important thing to realize about all these excerpts is that you cannot focus all of your energy just on the individual skill for which the passage has been asked, but it must be addressed on top of the fundamental skills you've already established. So, let me give you a rundown of what excerpts may be asked to highlight these different skills. For high notes, you'll typically be asked to prepare excerpts for both the big orchestral trumpet in addition to passages specifically for the piccolo trumpet. These excerpts include Baroque repertoire, such as pieces by Johann Sebastian Bach, Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra, the fifth movement, and works of Richard Strauss, specifically including Alpine Symphony and also Sprach Zarathustra. It may be easier said than done, but one key piece of advice for preparing these passages is to make sure that you've built up your range beyond what is needed for these pieces so that you can comfortably play a little bit higher than the highest notes from these excerpts. Anytime you put yourself in a situation where you are asked to go to the very edge of what you can do on the trumpet, including your high note range, you're at risk of being exposed on the day when you feel less than your best. So, prepare to give yourself a little margin for error so you can feel comfortable and confident during your audition. For low note playing, you're likely to see excerpts such as the prelude from Bizet's opera Carmen, the first movement of Shostakovich's Fifth Symphony, or music from section trumpet parts, such as the third trumpet score from Richard Strauss's Symphonia Domestica. Like with high notes, they're not just looking for you to be able to play these excerpts correctly, but to give them the impression that you have full control over your low register. This is especially important if you're auditioning for one of the low note chairs in the trumpet section, like second or fourth trumpet. For soft playing, the chorales from both Mahler's second and third symphonies are commonly asked. In addition, they may ask for passages that on the surface don't even look like orchestral excerpts at all such as Beethoven's Violin Concerto or Brahms Piano Concerto No. 1. These excerpts seem almost overly simplistic, but they are difficult to control in both a concert or in an audition. These passages can be tricky as there is no easy way to prepare yourself for the nerves you may feel in the audition, which can wreak havoc on your soft playing. But using slow breathing to regulate your nerves and just getting more experience in auditions will help you maintain relaxed throughout these passages. On the other end of the spectrum, loud passages often asked include the first movement from Tchaikovsky's Fourth Symphony, the finale from Shostakovich's Fifth Symphony, Infernal Dance from Stravinsky's Firebird, and the B-flat battle scene solo from Strauss's Ein Heldenleben. Although the audition committee does want to test your loud playing, I recommend that you do not play the same over-the-top volume you may choose to use when sitting in the orchestra. Play with a nice, resonant, colorful sound, but above all, make sure that you have control of your tone quality and intonation. If you were to take a survey of trumpet players and ask them what their least favorite excerpts to play in an audition are, I predict most of them would fall into the category of articulation and technically difficult excerpts. The excerpts commonly asked for in this genre include Ballerina's Dance from Stravinsky's Petrushka, the opening of Ravel's Piano Concerto in G, Rimsy Korsakov's Scheherazade, amongst others. It's important to start off practicing these difficult passages slowly with perfect sound and rhythm and build the speed over time. Although when preparing for an audition, I would ideally be spending the majority of my time making sure my fundamentals were in perfect form, 
I often find it difficult to not spend most of my time and energy on these difficult excerpts. Another way to feel more comfortable with this style of playing is to throw yourself into the world of modern music as these technical skills are often at the forefront of new compositions. The final area that you must highlight to the audition committee is your musicality in your unique style that you bring to the instrument. Out of all the areas that we've covered, this is the one that's the most difficult to actively prepare for as an audition approaches because, in truth, you have to spend your whole playing career figuring out and evolving what your individual voice is. The best thing I can suggest is to constantly be listening to the best musicians you can. Listen to great brass players, sure, but don't neglect listening to musicians of all types. There are things to be learned from world-class opera singers to a lead violinist, for example. Good music is good music, no matter where it comes from. And you never know where inspiration for how to approach your instrument will come from. Another tool to help you craft your own style is to constantly be recording your playing and listening back to it. Instant feedback is good, but I also suggest giving yourself a little more time before playing back your practice session so you can listen with fresh ears. This is especially true when you think you have played a passage well, because I often find that we can confuse how something feels in the moment with how something actually sounds to an outside observer. So make sure that you give yourself that distance so you can more accurately evaluate your own playing. In the end, especially once you've been able to have a solid grasp of the fundamentals and all the technical elements of the trumpet, you need to make the music come alive and make it your own. Let me just leave you with just a few last thoughts when it comes to auditions. First, it is best to have a set practice plan starting months in advance of an audition date so you have time to address all the challenging issues with the music while still being able to concentrate a majority of your time on the fundamentals. Take a systematic, slow-moving approach so that you're not inclined to cut corners trying to get all the music prepared. Second, know that most auditions will unfortunately not have the result that you're looking for. But don't take an unsuccessful audition as a failure or a waste of time. Take every experience as an opportunity to learn how to improve your preparation, get more comfortable out on that audition stage, and feel confident in how you want to play the trumpet. One day, when everything comes together and you're playing, the right opportunity will be there for you. Thanks for listening.